What's going on everybody? Flatline Guru here bringing us another race here at Volusia Speedway with the super late models here in the Lucas Oil Championship Series. Guys, hopefully you have a great day and hopefully you guys have actually enjoyed the last couple videos we actually came out with. Uh, I had one race where it wasn't so hot. I think we finished like what, fifth or sixth or something like that. Got somewhat wrecked out, which was my fault actually. Uh, I replayed the whole race and started looking through it. I was like, yeah, it was kind of my fault for that one. I probably should have been looking up a little bit more. Uh, but this race, we're actually starting from the pole. Um, not the biggest crowd that we have. Um, we actually are running the number one car um, for this race. But hopefully, I don't know, it, it should bring us some good luck. We haven't had the number one car in a while. Uh, last time I actually had the number one car, I finished, I think I started like ninth or 10th and actually ended up winning the race on that race. But that was one of the races that I wasn't recording. Actually, I was recording, but unfortunately the quality of it was just completely god-awful. Uh, so I never even bothered uploading it or whatnot. So, but like I said, guys, it's the day after Easter. I'm still full. Uh, realistically, man, I had so much food over the weekend. Uh, and Saturday I cooked out. Sunday I had a huge, just a complete meal that I went and cooked. I had some ribs, some chicken that I had marinating, and, and overall it was just a great weekend. Uh, and hopefully you guys had the same thing. Uh, but like I said, if you guys haven't seen the other races before, please go back, check the profile. And look through the previous videos that we've had. Uh, the last video I uploaded was actually one of the wrecks that I had, which didn't happen until later on in the race, which I'd say about, about I think it was like seven or eight laps in. So, But guys, we're about to get to racing. Hopefully we can actually uh, pull this one off for you guys. And I started in first gear that time. Fucking idiot. What an idiot, man. I need to quit with that. I keep thinking I'm in second gear, but I'm not. I'm so loose out of the corner of yeah. Super loose. And down pins. And do this about 30 more times. <laughs> Now we are in our very last day of Volusia Speedway with the super late miles. Next race we're actually going to Williams Grove, which I have no setup for whatsoever. Actually the only race I have done there was the 306 sprint cars. Um, actually the 306 and 310s, um, if I'm not mistaken. If I, I think was the only, that's the only time I've actually been at Williams Grove. Um, I never even had a race at USA since I was in Miami. So I didn't have a, have a chance to actually go ahead and do uh, any practice laps there or anything. So not sure when the next race will be uploaded with Williams Grove. I might post one just the first impressions with Williams Grove with the, uh, the super late models. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Now, if you guys want, um, actually, at, if you stay till the end of the race, I'll actually show you the setup that I've been running with the super late model. The, car, the cars, I mean, it hooks. And now it is a little loose off the corner, but overall, I mean, the car is, I mean, it, it, it's great. I mean, it runs 15s very consistently. Like right now, we're running 15 sevens um, right now. Hope I can get a six on this lap. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's probably gonna be a 15 seven five, I think. Let's see, oh, 15.8 miles off. Um, but I'll, if you want to stick to the end of the race, um, I'll actually show you uh, what the setup I'm actually running with. I'll go through it in the garage. So stay tuned to the end of the race. Oh, uh, we got a wreck up here. And that's going to be a caution. Well, 12 laps done. So far, we have Michael Kulp, Kulp is actually the only guy we really, I'm actually really worried about. I've raced against him actually a few times so far. Um, I know he has the number seven car, but don't don't let that fool you. He's actually a pretty he is actually a pretty decent driver. I've seen him a couple times. Same thing with Tristan. Uh, I've seen him race a couple times in the uh, the super lates. 
Now, I actually did run a race in the Dirt Pros. Guys, man, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's my setup that I have with the Pros, I'll be honest. I have the worst setup, hands down, in Pros. Um, I sat there in my previous race. I had the number two or number three car. We had a, It was a 15-car field, fully, uh, full, full field there. And, oh, my God, man, I got qualified, somehow qualified fifth. My car was a dump truck. I mean, it just, it wouldn't turn, like, whatsoever. I, was, I mean, I could sit here and play with the brakes getting into the corner, but no matter what, car just wanted to, it literally just wanted to run in a complete circle without getting the rear end out at all. I mean, my, my car was running 16.3, 16.4s. I mean, qualifying somehow ended up with a 15.9, but my car was nowhere near that uh, in race. So that was, a, that was a bad one. I thought I was going to get some uh, decent I rating out of that, but no, nah, far from it. I wanted to go, wanted to go. But like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos that I posted out lately with these uh, dirt models. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a quick switch. Uh, I might actually, one of my next videos might be something with Road or possibly with the Truck Series. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not the biggest fan of Rockingham, which is probably one of the last races here. So I might wait till tomorrow to actually go and uh, do a race, see what happens, uh, and pretty much go from there. Uh, but overall, I mean, I'm I'm happy. I'm, I'm I'm happy sticking with these late models. If you guys are too, uh, like I said, these these late models are probably one of the favorite things they should drive. Let's see, get the green. In the green. Now one thing I also want to tell you guys, if you guys want to ever race with me at any point, please leave your name down below in the comment section. I'll go and add you real quick, and then uh, hopefully we can run each other in one of these practice runs and then uh, our practice sessions, and then, you know, maybe run into each other with a, with a racer, so... I want to straight out in a little bit more than I wanted to there. Little flip there. Sometimes you gotta play with the brake just a little bit to kind of get that rear end to snap back around again. But throttle control is always the biggest thing with the late models. If you don't already know, and I'm sure a lot of you guys who do already race late models, you guys know as well. It's all about it's all about that throttle control and where you what you're doing with it. I almost took I think I almost kissed that uh, kissed that ball in my rear end there. It's getting some higher groove, get some more grip going. Yeah, as car seems to, I mean, realistically, I think by the end of the week, man, we had this setup dialed in completely where we want to be. I mean, the fastest lap I was able to do was on an overcast race, which actually was was recorded. Um, we were able to get a 15, was it 15.6.0, I think. Uh, there were some other guys running some 15.4s, but I felt like, because we were kind of loose coming out in one of the qualifying sessions, I think we probably could have gotten a 15.5. So we know that, we know the setup's pretty good. And there might be maybe a couple tweaks we might be able to do with it, but you know, for for the first couple, for the first week at Volusia, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy. Uh, we didn't gain too much in I rating. Uh, we probably should have, but we got did get in, getting ourselves in a lot of wrecks uh, overall in the race. So that's where we kind of screwed ourselves up in the I rating line. But a lot of times where we could have probably capitalized on it, but it is what it is, man. You can't you can't always win them all, you know. If I was way out foul or whatnot, maybe it might be a different story. Is there a who to it? I'm not. Far from it.
There you go, now I kiss the wall. Full throttle, full throttle here. I didn't realize it pulled out to a, almost a four second gap here. A three and a half second gap, I should say. Didn't realize it. Oh my god. I threw myself out of perfect race there, but 2x. <sighs> that right there is what ruins your races right there. Especially when you're in close battles, man. Five to go, let's not hit the inside wall. I'm not gonna repeat what happened in one of my videos. I can't let that happen. That tire bay right there is a pain in the ass. Come on, baby. We'll have to go. There we go, boys. Let's say that win is all for you guys. All for you guys. Thank you so much, guys. I can't. I can't thank you guys enough for being a part of this channel, man. I really can't. There we go. And we still pick up a one X for that too. It makes no sense. It sucks. That sucks. But you know what? Screw it. it. Is what it is. Can't complain much about it. Hey guys, let me get to, uh, well, let me get my mic set up real quick. Screw me up over here. Alright, guys. What I'm running completely from the, I actually did make a change before the race. Um, I was sitting at a 10, 10, 10 on the rights, but I'm actually at 9%, or sorry, 9 PSI on the right rears. Um, staggers at 4.625 in the rear, uh, which I've actually played around with at some races, depending on what the track's level like. Uh, 4.2s are actually what I'm really looking at. Um, and then usually these are about threes. Uh, but for this race, I did try and actually work it down just a little bit more. Um, these are brought up to 4.625, uh, like I said before. Chassis. Uh, Toe-in, I'm actually at a negative four. Um, I changed that a little bit. Um, I don't know what it was. It, just, it makes the handling feel a little bit better uh, coming out of the corner-wise, um, especially going down the straight. Um, for this track alone, I mean, all you really got to worry about is that front straightaway. Um, so that can vary, uh, especially at like Williams Grove and whatnot. I might actually keep that at a negative four. Might help out quite a bit. Um, but overall, if you guys want, screenshot this out. I'll leave my mic out. Screenshot it. Do what you got to do. Um, and then when it comes to fuel fill. All right. So this has been the biggest discussion I've seen a lot of people talk about, especially during the races. Um, 11 usually seems to be the best fit for me. Um, there were a couple people who were running down at like nines. For nine gallons, for me personally, I've ran out on the back straightaway a couple times. Actually, I've had two races, actually, I can completely recall, uh, that I've ran out. And it was no cautions, no nothing. If there was a caution in a race, it might be a little bit different. Uh, but nine gallons seem to be the best bet. Uh, so usually I run safe, just to be safe with it, 11 gallons seems to be perfect. I mean, even with 10 gallons, you're not going to make that big of a difference. You might make up, I mean, one hundredth of a second or so, maybe per lap or so, but that's it. Which that does make, obviously, a big difference in... Uh, if you're running like class A's, class B's, uh, racing wise, but I mean, for this, for dirt, I mean, there's so many different variables you have to run into. A lot of times you're gonna get a lot looser in one corner. One hundredth of a second really not make the biggest difference in the world. Uh, ballast I haven't really screwed around with. I'm running negative 11s there. Uh, final drive, I'm actually at a 504. 
Um, there are times I've actually ran a 486, uh, but 504 seems the best fit for me personally. So for you, it could be completely different. It uh, depends on how you like your car. Um, but overall, man, that's that's my race setup. I got to say, just go for the win because you know what? That's what we're supposed to be doing. That's all we do here. We try and go for wins on a daily basis. But, guys, thank you so much, guys, for, uh, uh, for, for at least just enjoying the race with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for actually watching till the end of the race. Again, that, that does help me out a lot, and I do appreciate that as well. Um, but, guys, hopefully you guys had a fantastic day today. I know today has been a great day for me all around. Uh, but this might be our final goodbye, Volusia. We might as well end it here because, you know, why end it when why, why even try to risk making another race in, uh, possible? So, but guys, thank you so much for joining in. I'll see you guys in the next video, and hopefully I guess we'll see you guys in one video. Take it easy, guys.